was a beautiful and graceful performance. Thank you, students. Let us hope the brightness of education overcomes the darkness of divisions, injustice, aggressions in society, and lead us to growth, equality, and liberty. I now request all the dignitaries on the dais to light the lamp. Sir, I request 
Dr. Ashok sir to acknowledge our director by bestowing saplings. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I am pleased to welcome our motivator, cast and supporter, who always provides guidance to achieve goals. Respected Dr. Ashok M.B., Principal, HKPK Degree College. I request Professor Dr. Fizarullah, sir, to present the sapling to our principal. I welcome to Dr. Taranu Tabasu Ara Madam, Engineering College Principal, for her presence to grace the occasion she has joined. Thank you, Madam, and welcome you, Madam. I request Dr. Pallavi Madam to present the saplings to Dr. Tabasu Ara Madam. Thank you, Madam. I extend my warm welcome to all the department heads and colleagues for their cooperation. I welcome Dr. Khizarullah sir for this occasion. I request Principal uh, Ashok sir to present the sapling. Sir, Department of Computer Applications. I request Dr. Pallavi, Pallavi Madam to present the sample. I welcome Dr. Pallavi Madam, HOD, Department of Business Management and Aviation. I request Dr. Tabasu Ara Madam to present the sapling to Dr. Pallavi Madam. Thank you, Madam. My heartiest wishes and welcome to all the enthusiastic, bubbling, cheerful freshers. It is very pleasure to inform you that you are all going to become HKBKNs. Dear students, dear students, you have taken wise decision by opting our institution, no doubt, the unwavering commitment of educationists, instructors and perceptors of our institution work like an alchemy in your career. A cherish memories that last a lifetime. Wish you all the best. Good luck. Thank you. Our esteemed principal, Dr. Ashok M.P., HKBK Degree College, to address the gathering. Good morning. Just I make my the speech very uh, formal today. So, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Nelson Mandela. Dear newcomers, honorable chief guests, faculty members, technical and administrative staff, students and respected director Sri CM Fais Muhammad, as we celebrate Orientation Day for the freshman class of students, it is with great honor and respect that I extend a warm greetings to each and 
every one of you. It is refreshing to let you know that our college places a strong emphasis on developing ethical people and competent professionals among our students by imparting both theoretical and practical knowledge throughout the academic program. I'm excited to announce that many of our graduates from our college have gone on to hold top positions in a number of prestigious organizations both in India and abroad. They have succeeded in many ways and I am incredibly certain that all of the current students will make comparable strides forward. I extend a warm welcome to all the newcomers to our college and assure you that we will do everything in our power to provide you the best presenting materials, practical training, learning strategies so that you can manage business, your life and your profession for a demanding world out there. In our college, we are confident in developing students' personalities, enhancing their intellectual potential and creating characteristics that will, will value for the rest of their life. Additionally, we strive to promote social virtues, ideals of individual excellence and compassion for others. You would undoubtedly consider these four years being the most thrilling extended times of your life. I want to wish you all a happy and academically fulfilling journey ahead and a fantastic time at the college. All the best. Wish you all the success. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your warm words. Moving forward, I now call upon Professor Kushnada Banu from Department of Computer Applications to give us an introduction on our chief guest and present us with a profile reading. Thank you. Welcome to our event. It is my pleasure to introduce our chief guest, Mr. Shreem J. Ahmed, who has graciously accepted our invitation to join us today. On behalf of our college, I would like to extend a warm welcome to Mr. Sheikh J. Ahmed and thank him for taking the time to be with us today. Sheikh J. Ahmed is a highly accomplished individual. He is the Vice President and Head of Information Security Risk and Governance in Mashrik Bank and Executive Board Member of Cyber Ed Board USA. Apart from this, he is also the Cyber Security Leader and Indian Armed Forces Veteran with over 25 years of rich experience in defense and corporate sectors in cyber operations, digital security and cyber threat management. Our chief guest doesn't require an introduction as he is a well-recognized figure in our city. He has been awarded with India's top 100 CISO's Special Achievement many times and COVID-19 Superhero CISO 2020 Star Speaker, Cyber FIFC IIT Mumbai. He has also been awarded with Vijay Medal and Rakshak Medal for his meritorious services in Indian Air Force. Apart from this, he is specialized in digital security consulting and advisory services, cloud security and managed security services, and cyber threat management. We are so honored to have him as the chief guest for today's event. I'm certain that all the parents present here are also moved and assuredly want their children to be like him. Thank you again for being here with us today, sir. We are honored to have you with us. I would like to invite all the dignitaries on the dais 
felicitate the chief guest. to hear a few words of wisdom from our Chief Guest, Mr. Sheikh J. Ahmed, Mishrik Bank. I now request the Chief Guest to address the gathering. Everyone, please put your hands together to welcome the Chief Guest. shapes our future journey. That doesn't mean that like you need to be completely immersed into the books. Please study. Please get involved into other co-curricular activities like sports, cultural, industry events and gain knowledge. Okay? It's, now, it's not always studies. It's not always lengthy certifications which value a human per, human being is the experience we gain in the prestigious academical institutions like this which matters so here along with you there are similar students who join us with tons of ambitions of the life get involved with them 
in the sports, in the cultural activities, in core learning activities, other than the normal academical subjects, and experience the life. Okay, if it is possible, I, I believe, like I firmly believe under uh, the leadership of uh, our director and uh, uh, honorable principal, we will have great mentors here who can coach, guide and mentor all of you in the right direction for the career. Is not, is not always the subject we need to learn. So why we are all here? Learning, na? Learning is not only certification. It's the experience we gain. Learning is knowledge plus experience. And knowledge is only a part. That is the certification which you get. But parallelly, you need to build a tower called as experience never it when, when you when you go to any place or even like for example when you join this college in the initial discussion your evaluators might have asked you other than plus two what you have done there need to be a value addition na? so we all like we all prefer choosing things which comes with value addition. Take a mobile, you want a headphone. Never You take something, you need some additional features in that one. Similarly, here also, in your life, when you pass out of this college, other than your academical certification, try getting something value addition in the life. At least make friends, keep memories and be a good human being and be a good learner which actually very important see wherever i go wherever i i, I interact with students and all i hear a very notorious question very like a unpleasant question what will happen how i can succeed in life what is that like like i need to be learning to have a safe career my only answer is you learn living you have to learn living, not the academical certification. Academical certification, all of us will learn. Remember it? What we need to learn is living. We need to live. We need to, we need to learn. We need to add value to our academical learning, academical career, more than the certification. <laughs> maybe, maybe becoming good mentor, maybe becoming uh, like I might say the quick learner. Maybe having like for example you are learning, I don't know like which all the subjects you preferred here while joining, other than other than your core subjects, pick up something, a foreign language or some dramatics or some innovation in terms of uh, premium technologies, the emerging technologies of the world, or otherwise into the finance and all. There are huge opportunities. And if you are confident about learning, if you are confident enough about living, then you, you will not have any challenge in the uh, future career for which you are struggling now. Am I right? So first of all, and again, like uh, uh, a warm welcome to all of you for starting the new career and a heartfelt congratulations to each one of you for choosing a premium institute like HKBK for starting your academical career here. Thank you. Thank you for giving the opportunity. Thank you. I am sure our students are enlightened by your words and would strive to work towards being the best version of themselves. Thank you so much, sir, for such an insightful and remarkable speech. Thank you. Small cheer and great welcome makes a merry feast. Balthazar. Words are powerful. They live forever and have the power to truly guide us and impact us in our lives. On this auspicious occasion, may I now request our director, Sri CM Fez Muhammad, to speak a few words. Can we have a round of applause, please? Mr. Sheikh Ahmed, Principal, 
engineering college, principal degree college, esteemed HODs, senior students of degree college, faculties from degree program, and my dear fresher students, good afternoon to one and all. It gives me immense pleasure looking at the fresh batch with the house full, not just here in two more other seminar halls. It shows the trust and the belief and I think with every trust, year and passing, trust and belief what students and parents bestowed on us, it's more a sense of responsibility that we stand here and speak with. And I say this, that with great trust or, res or account responsibilities, accountability is something which we have to be we have to really look at. And as a management of this great institution, 26th year, I can't thank enough my chairman for giving me this opportunity to stand before you all and address. And it's an immense pleasure. Why? Because at one hand, year on year we are seeing students' evolution, what a student walks in, listens to us, or trying to understand what we say and end of maybe a, say last I would say couple of months couple of months ago we had the same student the same set of students who have come back onto campus and who've been a chief guest and again trying to address students here. What more can a management or what more can a teacher expect if a student has evolved and he is coming back to campus and giving a sense of wisdom and also his sense of achievement to the fellow generations. And this is what we believe is power of education can bring to the young, to the students or to this great country. So the idea of orientation session is not to again bring you onto a, a seminar hall, lecture you on what is right, what is wrong, what you have to do, what you don't have to do is not the sense. But today, the very sense is giving you a brief of what, as a head of institution, as a management, what we want or what we expect and what you can expect from us. So the idea is, it's just a consultative process or just a communication process and yet not one way in terms of forcing any of our thoughts or process on you. You, as students, stepping on this campus, Finishing your pre-university, you are starting a new career, a new phase in your life. Start getting into a degree program. And today, Chief Guest did mention that learning is not, the degree or the marks is not important. And I would concur with that. I would actually agree. But on one side, the highest marks what you achieve in your program or in your course, it only demonstrates your commitment towards the course. Your discipline towards the course what you've taken up. There cannot be an average. We, we are going through a phase where no system, and I, I might be a controversial, but I like to say this: there is no system where we can evaluate an individual on their strengths. It's very easy to catch students on their weaknesses, but very difficult to actually get the students in terms of their strengths. And I am sure hundreds of students here, we have hundreds of entrepreneurs sitting here. We have hundreds of innovators sitting here. We have hundreds of founders sitting here. And it's only a matter of time till they go out and conquer the world. And that is why today, like the millions who are getting into the education system, who are acquiring degree or the course which you choose becomes a stepping stone towards your progress. When you go out, today they ask you first thing, when the filtration criteria comes in, what is your qualification? So higher the qualification, higher your eligibility and higher you are able to actually get, get yourself placed. Then comes your skill sets because the first thing what people look at, even when we hire, even when you recruit or when you go before a panel, first thing what they look at is your resume and the resume what it demonstrates is first your academic achievement. And when your academic achievement is at a highest percentage, it only demonstrates that you have been committed for every opportunity what you got. 
So in that scenario, when you are on campus, my sincere request to all the all the students is, if you are doing BCA, BBA, BCom, please ensure to excel in your education. And when I say excel in your education by getting high percentage, it is to demonstrate your commitment towards your education and also don't stop yourself from just being part of the education process. Now here comes the real life challenges. Or here is where you have to push yourself and I want you to ensure you are making mistakes, mistakes, mistakes. And when I say mistakes, doesn't mean missing, attend missing your academics, missing your attendance and then getting into trouble. No. I want to say that please take up initiatives, please take up startup programs, please evolve because at every mistake is actually an opportunity to understand where the problem lies. And every problem is actually tomorrow's solution to the whole ecosystem. And that's how today's startup culture is evolving. Today, look at the biggest startups in the world, whether be it the Flipkarts or Swiggies or Zomato or Amazon, they have all evolved on giving solutions to human endeavor. So look at value add. Basics are met, but look at the value add which you can offer because we were evolving through a stage where we were trying to address the basic needs. Now basic needs have been addressed. Now we are looking at a stage where the maximum value add what we can deliver to human endeavor. So more value addition, the higher your concept is going to evolve. So just be open-minded, be open to learning, Keep the campus should be more of just not academically driven but ensuring that you are here within your friends, among your friends, discussing, ideating, looking at what is the next big thing that you can come up with. And in that endeavor, I would want to announce that on behalf of chairman, we are allocating 10 lakh rupees as a startup incubation fund from this year onwards. So my dear friends, please come about look at new ideas, make in a pitch, try and see how best you can start your incubation center or be part of the startup culture or be part of, take this a small grant where 10 lakh is the total budget, we are looking at at least 20 or 30 starting from 25,000 rupees onwards, going upwards to look at what we can support to students in their startup endeavor. So please come up, if you have a solution, if you have identified a problem, we will ensure we support you for a cause. If financing is an issue which you are facing, please don't think that's going to be an issue anyway. So this is a new endeavor where we want to support our students in that cause. The other thing which I want to encourage students is, when you are on campus, please understand, we have students coming from different diversity, different backgrounds, different income groups. So, mutual respect is important. It is important to ensure that you value human being. You have to ensure that when within the campus or outside the campus, we have to all coexist. Because if there is peace in campus, I believe this is going to be peace in society because you are our future. And if you are able to maintain peace on campus, definitely I have no doubt to believe that our society is going to be at peace because of you as students have ensured the decorum continues, the discipline continues. So please be humane, please be humble, please be generous to all your friends around, all your faculties around because that is something more often we tend to forget that it is more important to be in today's age, be kind than being always right. And that is where we are forgetting this. And all our problems are starting that we all want to prove that we are right and we believe that being unkind is a better way of doing it. You can correct somebody by being kind. So don't forget these simple act of kindness goes takes you a long way. So students keep that thing in mind. It is important to be kind, generous and most important be grateful to the opportunity what we have in hand. You are amongst the few 
who have been able to be part of this education system. There are hundreds and thousands and millions of students of similar age group who have not been able to get to here. So please be grateful because we always tend to look what is above us. We tend to forget what is actually below us, below us or we tend to forget what we... But there are millions of students who have not been able to get into the system. And I say this, even whether many of you are BCA students, yes, we have a full intake. There are still another few double digit applications who are waiting to seek admissions. And we don't have admissions available. So I would definitely say amongst that you are many hundreds of privileged people being part of HKBK journey and being part of higher education journey itself in a great and esteemed institution. So don't forget that fact. Having said that, you have wonderful faculties, wonderful teaching resources here. Please make utilization of all the available opportunity and resources and I would encourage principal of degree college, HOD and all the academicians, all the faculty members evolve with your teaching methodology. Just not limit to textbook. I want you to come up with more avenues of outside class uh, environment, outside class teaching. Please come up with newer ways because today's students don't need the theoretically teaching what you can do within the classroom. They have the power of Google, they have the power of chat GPT, they have open AI to come up with better content than what you can offer in class. What is required for them is the mentoring system, what you all can offer off the classroom. So please evolve with your teaching methodologies. It's a very collaborative approach. Today the dimension of teaching has to change. Your academic academicians has to evolve from teachers to being in mentors to them. And I expect the innovative methodologies to be involved, to be incorporated into your teaching process because that's the value and what we're talking about. And I believe you have the all wherewithal the opportunities and potential and any sort of help, assistance you require from my end, please do uh, connect and try and get the uh, facilities done. So towards this, I want to tell you that enough can be said that in terms of what we can achieve, but the first step is what matters towards our goal. So please make it a point that if you can evolve with students, sit with them, with all the set of students and make them end of three years whilst they are on campus, this is the evolution in their career which they should look at. And I want a career map for every student to be coming. You have to ensure student understands that whilst being in HKBK campus, it's just not excelling academics, but it's also ensuring that we are preparing for a better world outside the campus. So please sit with the students, have a very effective mentoring system and ensure that we are able to deliver maximum value to our students. And this is what something I expect because it's just not teaching but it's also a very empathetic way of grooming future leaders. So I'm sure you will do your bit. Having said that, please extend my teachers, please, my teachers, please extend all your support and encouragement to the students and students vice versa to, from your faculty. Any sort of issues, I'm sure there are enough uh, hierarchical process uh, built in, whether be it at the HO, faculty level, HOD level, at the principal level, there is a grievance committee. You can very well address all your grievances which you find without any hesitation. And towards the end, if you're not, if they're not able to address, please do reach out to me. More than happy to have a conversation with, a, with parents or with teachers to address your grievances and try and help you. As towards the end, I would want to say that students, discipline is part of life. It's important that when you are on campus, we have engineering students on campus, 
we have MBA graduates on campus, we have PhD researchers on campus, and at the same time we have pre-university students also on campus, you have physiotherapy students also on campus. So each one has their role to play. So it's you have to ensure that you are being part of larger ecosystem and the idea is very simple as just much as diversity on campus the world is much more diverse outside so this is also an opportunity for you to understand and learn and understand and coexist so important in terms of how you maintain decorum discipline for e accommodating each program you don't have to i wouldn't say that you have to be accommodated but in terms of your discipline it's important there are different students, you have younger students also on campus on plus one and plus two. So you have to be a role model towards how you should you give set a good example to them. So please maintain that decorum and discipline. Within the campus we have things very much our control and we hesitate to not, we don't hesitate to take any action. We have zero tolerance towards indiscipline. We have zero tolerance towards substance abuse. So if there is any sort of substance abuse which is coming to our uh, knowledge, we would go to the strict, strictest extent to ensure that justice is rendered. So please be very careful in terms of what sort of substance abuse comes on to you in any form. In any form, because my campus, I am very, very particular that we don't entertain this. And I have zero tolerance to that. And you all are coming from different groups, different states, different demographics. Still, please be sure that we will ensure we take the strictest action permissible under law to, be, uh, to prove this that we have zero tolerance on that. So parents, please be rest assured, if you come across any sort of these issues, bring it to our notice so that we fix it and mix it at the part itself. So till now, we have not been able, we have not touched wood, we have not come across any sort of these issues, but having said that, we are still on the lookout. If you have come across anything, please bring it to our notice. And students too, you have every right to bring this to our notice and we will fix this issue. Okay, so please bear this in mind and the final thing which I want to tell you is degree students, yes, you are growing. You have grown, you have matured, you have become young adults. But that doesn't give you right or authority to take total things under your control. Prove yourself, be on your own, start paying your bills and then be on your own. And then try proving yourself. Okay, as long as your parents are paying your bills, you are on campus, you are on, you're not on your own, you still have to follow decorum, discipline and the most important is invoke your parents' blessings. Be grateful to them. Invoke their blessings from time to time because for whatever I am today is because of the blessings of my parents. And I would say the same to you all. They might be without you can see there is an unseen blessing and if everything fails the world rejects you it's only your parents which are standing beside you and still saying i believe in you go ahead i will support you still they stand beside you so don't take things for granted with them and more often we see this at this age we tend to believe that we don't want to listen to our parents we want to be rude and rash to them. Don't do that. And only thing what they expect from you at this age is empathy and a good behavior. They are still not expecting you to, they are not expecting you to pay their bills. They are not expecting you to come and take care of them. No. All they require is you to be empathetic and have a peaceful, decent 5 or 10 minutes conversation in a day. So please don't forget, my dear students, be empathetic towards your student, your parents, invoke their blessings from time to time and if you have the blessings of your parents, sky is the limit what you can achieve. So with these thoughts, I once again 
thank all the parents, all the students for choosing HKPK as your sought and a preferred destination for your future career. I thank you all from my bottom of my heart for giving us an opportunity to serve you all and to ensure that your wards are reaching greater heights. We will leave no stone unturned to help you in this endeavor and at the same time we will ensure that you have no reason to complain. We have enough and more changes to be evolved. We have enough and more corrective measures which we can do within our campus. We have enough and more innovation which we can do on the campus. We are open to all your suggestions and feedback. So do write to us. Do come and give us all your feedback so that we can improve our standards, we can improve our systems and happy to listen and incorporate all your feedbacks on this. So once again, I thank you and all the best for your future. Thank you, sir. That was definitely motivating as well as uplifting. Now we move forward. So let us get this event with full of music and fun started to create some beautiful memories. And now, your seniors are going to grace the occasion with a song and a dance. I call upon uh, Hanif from CSE Engineering. Hanif, yes. Can I hear some more noise please? Because it's the cultural event right now. Hanif is going to play for you. So, can I hear a round of applause again? Thank you. I request all the dignitaries on the dais to be seated off the dais. Good morning everyone, this is uh, Hani. So, hope you guys are not sleeping right here. So, how this works is that uh, you give me energy and I'll give you back. So, ye gana, jo bhi gane wala ho, ye aap sabko bata hai. so sing along, enjoy. Yeah. 
students we are waiting for the song to load give us some energy no over here everyone
जिसकी तलाश है वही साथी है वही मंजिल है सपनों में रोज आए आ जिंदगी में आना सनम
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 